Hey, everybody, what a lovely week we are having on House of Games. So glad you're back to join us as well. Four famous faces all battling it out for this trophy right here. Shall we meet them again? They are Catherine Tilsley. Hey. Antonia Gogo. Hello, sir. Sam Campbell. Hello, me. And Cherry Healy. Hello, one. Hello, all. On Monday, our champion was Catherine. Yesterday, Cherry, you won it. She's saved me. Cheese has always been my friend. It's been there through the good and the bad times. And yesterday, it really did something special for me. Uh, Sam, you were five points behind going into that final round. You just lost it by one in the end. You, you've got to fancy a win at some point. If you can't cut the mustard, you out with the ketchup. Oh, that's oh. so good. Profound. That's so good. Mm. Australians are very profound people, aren't they? Anthony, you're a champion in everything you do. I try. Thus far, if we look at our leaderboard, you've got a little bit of work to do on House of Games. Wow. You and Sam on four each, Catherine and Cherry up the top. What can change? The most important thing you said then was thus far. Yeah. You know, Rocky Balboa, he never gave up. Yeah. He, he didn't. got there in the end, you know? Yeah. So it's, we've still got three days to go. Well, your wonderful podcast is all about people who have adversity yes, and they sir. come back. Getting and they back fight up. fight again, getting back up. And that's what we're going to do then in the next three days. <sighs> we're going to do it. Getting back up. Catherine, shall we take a look at today's prizes? You've already got one prize this yes. week. We know that, a hot water bottle. I'm so excited. Uh, let's see what you could win today. Ooh. There is the electronic salt and pepper shakers, the scented candle, the glasses case, the dartboard, and the bee hotel. What do you fancy, Kath? Oh, I love bees. Yeah. I'm going to go bee hotel. Bee hotel, that's yeah. nice. Anthony? Oh, I want to sniff me some Richard. Yes, okay. oh, I got gotcha. you. Oh, scented candle. I got gotcha. you. I was yeah. expecting that. Yes. Again, a hell of a catchphrase, Sam. I want to grip two Richards and, and um, sprinkle <laughs> some Richard all over one of my favourite I got you. So you're going for the glasses case? No, the Bee Hotel. Yeah. <laughs> and Cherry? I mean, how are you, did you guys not choose the dartboard? Are you kidding me? Bullseye right in the middle of your forehead. Beautiful. Right? It's lovely for me because it's like acupuncture. <laughs> yes. Um, shall we get on and play Wednesday's House of Games? So two champions already this week. Are we going to have our third champion on Wednesday? Let's find out. We start with rhyme time. Fingers on buzzers, please, everybody. I will ask you two questions at a time. The answers simply rhyme with each other. So what are the answers to these, please? Orange vegetable said to help people see in the dark. And species of talking bird in Disney's Aladdin. That is Anthony. Carrot and a parrot. Carrot and a parrot. Oh. Boom, it is. What a start. Carrot and parrot. Next two. French sparkling wine associated with Dom Perignon. And first name of the BAFTA winning cruise singer McDonald. Yes, Kath. Champagne Jane. Champagne Jane. Oh, well done. It is. Champagne and Jane McDonald. Next one. Poker hand containing the five highest cards of the same suit. And what is this? That is Sam. Royal flush and toilet brush. Absolutely right. Royal flush toilet brush. Well played, Sam. Next one. Island country in the Mediterranean, south of Sicily. And UK overseas territory bordering Spain. Anybody? I was looking for Malta and Gibraltar. Oh. Malta and Gibraltar. Well done if you got that one at home. Next two. What is this? And what is the title of this song? There she stood in the street, smiling from my head to her feet. I said, hey, what is this now, baby? Uh, Sam. Human eye and look at the sky. <laughs> it is. Do you know it's not? I'm so sorry. Have you got this one at home? Should I tell you? Yep. It's All Right Now and Eyebrow. Oh, eyebrow no, All yeah. Right Now by Free. Next one. 2006 reality TV show rebooted in 2022, Beauty and The. And Niall Rogers' disco band who had hits with Good Times and Le Freak. That is Kath. Geek. Chic. Geek Chic. Oh, oh cool. Correct. Cool. Kath, nicely played. Beauty and the Geek Chic. Final question in this round. Madness hit about the joys of automobiles. 
and genealogy series broadcast by the BBC since 2004. That is Cherry. Oh, I know that the genealogy series is called Time Team. Madness hit about the joys of automobiles, Time Team. Oh, something about machine. I don't know. Should we say machine time team? Machine time team. It's incorrect, I'm afraid. Yes, Sam. Time team crazy dream. Time team crazy dream. It's incorrect. The big issue here is that it wasn't time team. Oh, I there think. we go. It was who do you think you are? And, you dri oh. and driving in my car. Oh, oh we there we for. go. I set us down the wrong path. Who do you think you are driving in my car? I know, and I, I let it go on. That was me. You really did. Yeah, I let it continue. Running the distance. Yeah, I let Sam walk straight into the trap, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. Did. Shall we look at this leaderboard? No. After one round. Cherry yet to go off the mark. This happened with Catherine. She won a show and then she uh, she started with zero. You've you done the same thing. Fall but fast, don't you? You're not too far behind the rest, to be right. fair. Sam and Anthony have one point each. Catherine is our early leader with two. I'll play Catherine. <laughs> Round two today looks a little bit like this. Reichard Oshman's Hosh de Spiel. Cherry, you get to choose your partner today. Who would you like to play with? I'm going to go with Catherine because she's just a winning, winning person, isn't <laughs> she? Isn't she just? <laughs> right. Um, so, Cherry and Anthony, if you will swap places, please. There she is. Yes, baby. Boom. <laughs> oh. Now, in this round, all of the questions are in foreign languages, as are the answers. Okay. okay? The categories you have to choose between are these: biologie, littérature, Blum. Festivita, La Biblia, or Natural Historia. So you have to choose one of those categories. Maybe try and work out what the language is, if you're particularly good on a particular language. I mean, I'm not horrible on literature, but I don't know what language that is. Uh, yeah, I'm not bad with literature. And La Biblia I don't know what is Bible is. studies. Yeah, I was I'm raised not... in a very Catholic oh, house. Oh, were you? Janet and Graham love, <laughs> <laughs> love baby Jesus. Um, <laughs> I think we both and actually went to literature. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, should we go for literature? And that is German for literature. OK. OK. okay. And here is your question, Yaya. Uh, in welchem Roman von Charles Dickens kommt ein Erwassenkind namens Pip vor? Is it one of these three? Oh. Is it Rosa at Wagenen, eine Geschichte aus zwei Städten, or the Pickwicker. We're thinking it's great expectations. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But uh, see, I'm drawn to the first one. It would make the most obvious one would be what book is Pip from? Yeah. I think we go with you. I think that's really logical. What do you think at home? Do you think they've uh, think that logic works? So you think the question is roughly what, what book, book is, is Pip mm, from? Book is Pip yeah. from? And we're thinking that Grosse Erdvatungen uh, is great expectations. Let's find out. Is Grosse Erdvatungen? The correct answer? You're absolutely oh, right. Listen. Well worked out. That's what I <laughs> Which Charles Dickens novel features oh. an orphan called Pip, Great Expectations, and the other two were A Tale of Two Cities yes. and the Pickwickia was the Pickwick Papers. Sam, Anthony, I wonder what category you would like. Uh, what do you reckon? Well, my heart says Blom, and, but my, and my mind also says Blom. I, I like Blom. It's got to be Blom. I think Blom. Blom. It's Icelandic oh. for flowers. Oh, flowers. cool. Icelandic for flowers. <laughs> yeah. Here is your question. Fjorda Blom, Ertalius. Fjorda Blom, Wales. Is it Ross, Lilia, or Pasca Lilia? They all sort of sound the like Welsh a flower. Is it, is it a Rose, flower? Rose, Lily, and Pasca Lilia. Rose. Rose Lily and the last one could be. Do they have an official flower in Wales? That's what I'm trying to think. I don't. Oh. They have a dragon. Yeah, like the David. dragon. Yeah, they've got a dragon. Lily, Lily sounds Welsh. Lily. Yeah, Lily. We're going to go with Lilja, surely. Yeah, I, I think it's, I'm, 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 I'm quite. I'm, I'm... We're going to go Lilia. For Lily? Yeah. What do you think at home on this one? What are you saying? Is the answer Lilia? It's not Lilia. It's not Lilia. Cat's going to steal. She's got it. Just for fun, not for points. So, the flower associated with Wales is daffodil. Oh, yeah, that's what I... yeah. I think. 
Oh, um, so maybe... So it wouldn't be Ross. Oh. It would be... I don't know how you pronounce Pascalilia. it. Pascalilia. Pascalilia. Let's find out, shall we? Is that the answer and is that the question? That is exactly right. Mm. Very well played. What's Smashing. considered to be the national flower of Wales? Daffodil. Get respect. Nicely done. <laughs> or Pascalilia. Pascalilia. And you have another question now, Catherine and Cherry. What OK, like? so I think biology is French, so... For me, it would be between biology and um, the Bible studies, if that does indeed mean Bible studies. <laughs> La Biblia. If I get it wrong, my Listen, mum may excommunicate me, but, we, you know... I think let's go five. OK. okay. Are we, we going to go La Biblia? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you've gone for <laughs> La Biblia, Spanish for the Bible. OK. It is the Bible. OK. Según la historia de la natividad, ¿quién revó oro en cienzo y mira el niño Jesús? Is it los pastores? Is it los ángeles? Or is it los tres reyes megos? Oh, 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 uh, in, uh, frankincense, incense, myrrh. So we've got mirror, that could be myrrh. We've got incense. Incenso? Oh, the three kings. The three kings. Lost three kings. Who brought the? Who brought them to baby Jesus? Is it who brought them? Kien. That's who mm -hmm. I think. Who brought ba um, frankincense to baby Jesus? I oh, think it's oh, the it's three the kings. Last one. The tres. Yes, means three. Lost yes. tres reis, mothers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we think it's who bought it's got gold, to frankincense, and myrrh to the baby Jesus, Lost and you think that is the three kings? Yeah. Is that correct? Absolutely oh, right. Very well played. Yes, babe. Yeah. So Oro is gold, Incencio is oh. Frankenstein, and Mira was Myrrh. Mm. And the shepherds were the pastore, angels, Los Angeles, and three wise men. Beautifully worked yes. out. We're going to heaven. Babe, we are. Sam, Anthony, what would you like to go for? <sighs> I'll drag him, mate. I reckon we pass. <laughs> <laughs> it's just too hard. What do I like? I mean, I'm, I'm easy. What do you want to go for? I mean, I'm, I'm You choose. Friend. I chose Blom and it was a disaster. Should we, should we do Prodigy or do you want to do Festa... Festa Vita? Festa Vita Or Natural History? Fun. Go Festival then? Yeah, I reckon. Festa, Festa yep. Vita. Festa Vita. It is Italian for celebrations. Okay, oh, okay. that's okay. Right. Okay, that's okay. I don't think we mean the tiny little chocolates, but I could be wrong. Cali di questi eventi annuali si svolga solitamente E marzo nel Regno Unito. Is it Festa della Mamma? Pesce d'April? Ooh. Or San Valentino? I reckon that is Mother's Day, April Fools, a day where many pranks will happen, and Valentine's Day. That's my, what I think is in Valentine. Yep. I reckon, again, stabbing in the dark totally. Marzo is maybe the month of March. Yeah. And I think, you know, March is Mother's Day. You mentioned about the Festa della Mamma, mama, as you said, so, yeah. so Italian, so fluent. Si, 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 si. Uh, annual. But Mother's Day is not annual, is it? Oh, it is. Yeah, it, it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think... I'd love you on the phone to your mum go, it's not every year, mum. <laughs> <laughs> I got you something two years ago. It's like the Olympics. <laughs> so we're going to go for Mother's Day. I think Day. Festa della Mamma. Festa della Mamma, because you think mama. it's... Which of these is in March? is the thing you're thinking, and you're going to go Mother's Day. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think so. Okay. What do you think at home on this one? Do you agree, you disagree? Have they worked it out? Is it which of these is in March? And is it Festa della Mamma? Is exactly Yay! right, Yay! gentlemen. Yay! Well done. That's uh, so smart. Regno Unita is United Kingdom. Oh. So it's which of these takes, annual events usually takes place in March in the UK. You did well working out April Fool's Day, though. Yeah, and worked out what that was, the Pesce one. Uh, and Valentine's Day, well done if you got that at home. It's the end of the round. So, Anthony Oopsie. and Cherry, if you'll swap back, please. Oh, you were great. Guy, you were great. Smash. And we'll take a look at our leaderboards. Lovely and close today. Cherry, Sam, Anthony, two points each. Catherine in the lead with four. <laughs> nothing in it, though. Absolutely nothing in it with three rounds to go. Our next round is... Two clues in one. Fingers on buzzers, please. I'm going to give you a category. Your first category today is animated films. I'm going to give you some clues to animated films. We call it two clues in one, though, because the initials of the clue will also be the initials of the answer. Oh. Yeah. OK. Here's your first one. Frostiness. 
Yes, Kath. Frozen. Frozen is right. <laughs> Next one. Puppet. <laughs> Sam. Pinocchio, Pinoc we love you. We do love Pinocchio. And you can see a point as well. Next one. Daft Minions. That is Sam. Despicable Me. Good work, Despicable Me. Minions, of course, from Despicable Me. Your next category is... Ballets. Ballets, hello. We've gone classy all of a sudden. What ballets are these? Toys, Nightgown. Sam. The Nutcracker. The Nutcracker. <laughs> Nothing's too classy for Sam Campbell. Next ballet. Swimming, leotards. Sam. Swan Lake. Swan Lake. Very nice. He's quick on the buzzer on this one. Yes, I've been practising with um, a lump on my dad's back. Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Next ballet. <laughs> Tchaikovsky Slumbering Bell. <laughs> Cherry. The Sleeping Beauty. It is. Prince Cherry. <laughs> Next category. Fashion designers. But who are they? Creates knickers. Yes, Kath. Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein. Well played, Preston Writing Team. It is Calvin Klein. Next one. Vividly wacky. That is Kath. Vivian Westwood. Vivian Westwood. I would have gone for Vera Wang. Oh, yeah. But oh. I've got a point for Vera Wang. I hope so. Oh, yeah. If you said Vera Wang at home, I'm giving you a point. But Vivian Westwood is a better answer. Final question in this round. Jaw-dropping clogs. <laughs> Cherry. Jimmy Choo. Jimmy Choo. Oh. It is Jimmy Choo. That D was tricking someone. Yes, I was thinking yeah, like... Yeah, I yeah. was thinking of the D. Yeah. Jean yeah. David or something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is the end of that round. Let's see what it's done to our leaderboards. The scores look like this. Anthony has two. Cherry has four. Sam with six. Catherine stood in lead with seven. Oh. The one-point lead now. And Sam with two rounds to go. Our next round is... I'm terrible at dating. If you'll take your tablets out, please, everybody. I'm going to give you some events from history. You just have to tell me the year in which you think they happened, and whoever is closest wins themselves a point. Oh, no. OK? OK? And here is your first one. The first MOT vehicle tests are introduced. Oh, my goodness. When was that? What's an MOT vehicle? Do you know what an MOT test is? It's the test you have to have every year for a car in the UK. It comes from Ministry of Transport. Oh, and what year did they introduce it? <laughs> oh, yeah, you... Honestly. When do we think this was? What do you think at home? There'll be a good proportion of people at home who've seen that question and go, oh, God, I've got to get my MOT. I would have reminded people. Mine failed last month. No way. Yeah. What on? That annoyed me. Uh, a couple of things. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I haven't sold the car yet. It didn't fail. Uh, I didn't fail. That's a good car. <laughs> Solid car. Part I've, just, I've lost the certificate. I don't know where it is. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Solid, sturdy, good miles to gallon ratio. Really? Uh, yeah. How many miles? Has it done? Yeah. Um, 60,000. OK. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good. It's a workhorse, but with style. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's a nice bronze colour. <laughs> oh, no, lovely. Bronze, yeah, That's the best colour for a car, isn't it? What do we think on this one? When do we think this was? What do you think at home? Kath, what are you saying here? I'm going to say 1940. Yeah, I can see that. Anthony? 1955. 1955, says Anthony. Sam? 1940 as well, I think. Ah, another 1940. Yeah. And Cherry? 1970. 1970, oh. year of my birth. Was it the year of the birth of the MOT, I wonder? Hmm. Let's find out, shall we? When were they introduced? Who's won a point? <laughs> 1960. Oh. Anthony, you get yourself a point. Very well done. 1960. So before then... They were just really oh, unsafe. Do whatever Death you traps. want, right? The next thing I'd like you to find a year for is this, please. St Francis of Assisi is canonised. Oh, my gosh. OK. OK. I mean, pick a century, any century. I bet Janet and Graham would be this, good on this. She, we've actually got a statue of St Francis of Assisi in my mum's garden. How, in the garden? She, it's in the garden. Is it weatherproof? Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he was put in a cannon and fired out like in a cartoon. 
I have missed something here. <laughs> Sam, did... That's it! I don't know what has happened. Did you just tell Anthony that being canonised meant being fired out of a cannon? <laughs> I might have said something like that. This Why? This is the best thing ever. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm flown! Right. You know he's one of the greatest boxers and wrestlers of all time. Right? Oh, Joe, yeah. um, Anthony, not St. Francis of Assisi. That's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Not St. Francis. I was confused then. Was yeah. it yeah. really? He's one of the, yeah. of the, he's one of the greatest the boxers is. of all time. Yeah. That's going to help Anthony. He wasn't bad. He was cruiserweight. Oh, nice. Yeah. nice. When was Sir Francis of Assisi shot out of a cannon, I wonder? I mean, who knows? OK, Anthony, what do you reckon? 1741. I mean, why not, right? Why not? They had cannons. <laughs> they had cannons. <laughs> Sam, tempted to take a point. Off you for being mean to Anthony. That was yeah, we're, yeah, we're on great. Good humour. Brilliant. Eight forty, you're saying, okay? Cherry. Ten oh six. Ten oh six, and Kath. I was gonna go eighteen sixty, but the statue in my mum's garden looks quite. It looks like a bit more, a bit more modern, and maybe he was delayed in being canonised. Okay, so nineteen thirty, you think. What do you think at home on this one? Do you know this one? Let's take a look. Uh, St Francis of Assisi was canonised in... 1228. Oh, early. The point goes to Cherry. Well done, Cherry. Nicely done. He was canonised just two years after he, after he died. Final question in this round. In which year did this happen, please? The first recipe for tomato ketchup is published. Oh, dear. We bought back from our holidays last year some banana ketchup. Oh, how was that? It, it's unbelievable. Ooh, and really? you know, it sounds awful. It's, it's like everybody absolutely loves it. Where did you go to get that? Uh, St. Lucia. Mm. Yeah, banana ketchup. Everybody is in. What do you think at home on this one? Tough one, this Sam. What are you saying? I put 1889. 1889. Cherry. 1920. 1920, not a million miles away, Kath. Uh, 1886. Oh, well, very close. And Anthony, you gone for? Great Depression era, 1921. 1921, says Anthony, with a bit of historical context yeah. as well. Depressed. Get some ketchup. Get some ketchup. <laughs> Shall we find out when the first tomato ketchup recipe was published? And who's won the last point of the round? 1812. Oh, Catherine, Catherine, you get yourself a point. You're a long way out, but you get yourself a point Boom. with 1886. Nicely done. Very well done at home if you went early on that one. One round to go. On Monday, our champion was Catherine. On Tuesday, our champion was Cherry. Who is going to win today, I wonder? Let's take a little look at where we stand. Anthony has three, Cherry five, Sam six, Catherine in the lead, two points in the lead. Sam was very, very good on Answer Smash yesterday, but you've been very good all week as well. Shall we play it? Find out who our Wednesday champion is going to be. Let's have a round of... Answer Smash Beings on buzzers. Point for a correct answer, point off if you buzz in and give me an incorrect answer. We've had a lot of that going on this week so far. Here is your first category. 80s music acts. A person showing no visible emotion is commonly said to have what type of upper lip? Yes, Catherine. Stiff Tiffany. <laughs> Can't take it, I'm afraid. He didn't smash it together. Cherry. Stephanie. Stephanie, we were looking for. Stiff and Tiffany, Stephanie. You gave that to me as a Christmas gift. Oh, yeah, a little thank bit. You, darling. A little you. bit. Thank you, sweetheart. Uh, next one. Which word precedes the hut in the name of the slug like gangster in Return of the Jedi? Yes, that is Cherry. Jabba Banana. I can't, I'm so sorry. No! no boy. Sam. Jabana Rama. I can't, I can't take that either. Come on, Everyone, everyone's, missing, Come on. everyone's missing bits out. It's Jabanana Rama I was looking for. Jabanana Rama. Oh, oh that's, that's, that's frustrating. Jabba and Banana Rama, Jabanana Rama. On a Monday, I might have let you get away with it. But not on a Wednesday, Oof, my friends. Tiny not on a Wednesday. Not next clue, next picture. What does the A stand for in the abbreviation USDA for the US government department concerned with farming and food production? Yes, Kath. Agriculture Club. Agriculture oh, well Club, it is. Very nicely worked out. Agriculture and Culture Club, Agriculture Club. Next category. Signs of the Zodiac. We'll show you the symbols, but what are the Zodiac signs? The name of which dip often served with Mexican food is derived from words meaning avocado and sauce. 
Yes, Cherry. Guacamoleo. Guacamoleo. It is the right answer. Well done. Wow. Well buzzed Joe. in. Nice. Guacamole and Leo Guacamoleo. That's fun to say as well, Guacamoleo. I enjoyed that thoroughly. Yeah. Next one. The four-time NBA champion with the surname O'Neill is known by what nickname? Yes, Anthony. Shaquarius. Shaquarius. Well played, it is. Shaq and Aquarius. He's a mate of yours, Shaq, isn't he? Yeah, he, he, he is, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to see a picture of Shaq, you, Sam. That's a, that's a, that's a picture I'd like. That's a triumvirate, that, isn't it? Isn't oh, it? I know Shaq. Some I know squad. Shaq. I'll tell you what. That's I've had a, a bottomless tour. brunch with him. Oh, you're mates with Shaq as well? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. You, you two must have come across each other then before. Oh, no. Um, we might have. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> mate. Oh, we got a go Meet a lot of people. Meet a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm I tour a lot. A lot. Uh, next one. Calabrese and purple sprouting are varieties of which vegetable? Yes, Kath. Le broccoli. That's incorrect, I'm afraid. You lose a point. God damn it. Cherry. Broccolibra. Broccolibra. Oh, we were looking no. for unlucky. Broccoli and Libra. It's Broccolibra. Next category. <laughs> no oh, more that's today. So that one's crazy. Oof. Our champion on Monday was Catherine Tilsley. Our champion on Tuesday was Cherry Healy. Our champion on Wednesday is... Going to be decided by a tie break Ooh. between oh, Catherine much. and Cherry. Oh, no. Someone's going to win their second show of the week. Who's it going to be? Fingers on buzzers one more time. Oh, We're oh, going to have awful. one... Not you, Sam, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we are going to start a new category for this tie break question, and that category <laughs> is cooking ingredients. Okay. Cooking ingredients. That'll be the picture. There'll be a clue above. Buzz in, give me a correct answer. You are our winner. An incorrect answer means your opponent is our winner. Very, very best of luck. What is the common name of the music festival that was held on a farm in Bethel, New York, in August 1969? Yes, Catherine. Woodstock Cube. Woodstock Cube. Oh my we God. have our champion, oh, Catherine Pilsley. Fair enough, fair enough. Held your nerve oh. very nicely. Well oh. done. Oh well done. <laughs> that was so <laughs> awful. You've won yourself a prize. Oh. How about that? You've already got a hot water bottle. Uh, what would you like now? Hotel? What do you want? The B Hotel. The B Hotel. <laughs> Catherine Tilsey <laughs> wins the it. B Hotel. It's a lovely prize to have. Let's take a look at our weekly leaderboard. Two days to go. We've got double points Friday coming up as well. Still anybody's game. Anthony with five, Sam with six, Catherine with nine, Cherry out in the lead with ten points. Five points between the lot of you. Going to find a champion in two days' time. Who is it going to be, I wonder? See you all here tomorrow. Look forward yes. to it ever so much. We'll see you here as well on the House of Games. Ah, oh, the bees of Salford. Gonna be they know so that they are going to be so happy. There's a wasp in the pit house. So, no wasps. <laughs> oh, no, there's a ban on wasps for this, but the bees are going to be thrilled. <laughs>